when you look at energy used by households, that the slice devoted to home electronics, your TV, your computer, your home fax machine, whatever, that slice is growing and growing and all of a sudden it's starting to look a lot more like the energy that goes to heating and cooling your house than it does to you know some small fragment as it was in the past. We focus in on energy because global warming we think is the biggest environmental concern that's out there right now. When it comes to Energy Star products, in general, our products are 30, maybe even up to 50% more efficient than a non-Energy Star or a conventional product. That's great for the environment, of course, um, but it really means that the consumer saves. So think about this. If your computer, your printer, your fax machine, your scanner, um, all of these things, as well as your TV, your set-top box, your audio DVD, your audio equipment, the stereo speakers, everything, are all more efficient. Collectively, you're going to save a big bundle of money. You're saving, you know, maybe you're saving somewhere between, you know, four to ten dollars per product. Bundle them together, you can be looking at differences of 150, 200 dollars off of your home energy bill. Everybody wants a large flat screen TV, or many, many, many Americans do. How do we power that? Uh, we need to look at ways of making those as efficient as pro possible, so we can enjoy the things we want to enjoy without busting the power grid. We're in a great position as consumers, a, a very powerful position. We can say what we want um, and we can ask for more efficient products and it's a, this is the time to do it. We're in the game to sort of as a nation, as a, as a world community, reduce energy use through you know, one product at a time.